Hi everybody, Jonathan Reeves here from Jonathan Reeves CAD and welcome back to the channel. Now I've been reached out by Prome to make a sponsored video for you today and I'm going to be having a look at the new Prome AI features, in particular the new model consistency feature which is a really incredible tool for maintaining consistency in your basically generated images but actually you know keeping some of the qualities of your original image as well. Now you'll be very excited to see how this works so make sure you do like and subscribe and watch to the end of the video. I get some amazing results with this new feature in Prome AI. Now if you are new to Prome basically it's an image generator that does all sorts of things including makes wonderful architectural sketches but it can also generate images from scratch as well. So if you want to have a little visit, make sure you use my affiliate link to get a really nice little discount on memberships or just visit for free. Anyway, let's jump into the new feature and this is called Create Your Own Model. Now you'll see that I've already got a few examples that I've been playing with in here. Let me show you how this works. If I actually go down to my assets, these are some of the things that I've been able to produce during this sort of training for this tutorial and really was a lot of fun. I've created some amazing images and these are very, very rapid to do. And I really think you'll enjoy the quality of Prome AI. So let's have a look at how this works in practice. So the first thing we can do is create our own brand new model, or we can use other people's models that they've created. So in order to do this then, click on to create model, and basically you'll need a source image that you can import as well. So just go over to your model square here. You can see what other people have been doing. Now, if you do want to take inspiration from what other people have been doing, all you need to do is have a look at some of the styles you've got there. And if there's one particular one that you like, then you can select that particular style and apply it to your own models. Now, I really like these uh, cardboard sort of balsa wood models. And it, this would definitely be something I'll be trying a bit later. So do make sure you hang on to the end of the video to see how this works. Okay, so if you followed my channel for a while, you'll know I'm a massive Vectorwitz user and the new version of Vectorwitz 2025 just dropped. So here's one of my projects that I've used for a tutorial a few times called The Grid House. And what I'm really doing here is just setting out how I can record some elevations and renderings that I can use in Prome AI to actually kind of give myself a really good head start for that image generation. So Vectorwitz is an amazing software for 3D modeling. If you've not used it, make sure you check it out and look at some of the tutorials on my channel. Okay, so you can see I've got a bunch of saved views. Um, basically, I'm just scrolling through these saved views and what I'm gonna do is export these as image files. One of the wonderful things with Vectorwitz is you can also animate between those files if you need to. So let's export these. Uh, we can use the publish command to export from Vectorworks straight into uh, our image file format and just select those as images and change things like the resolution. We'll do each image as a separate page as well. Okay, so the very first thing we're gonna go to do is go into the model section and have a look at some of the inspiration of what other people have been producing using Prime AI to basically train their models. And basically, I'm just gonna try a different image and load in a different image into each section. So I'm just gonna go for a couple of elevations and let's just load that one in. And let's just load one more in as well. So basically, I'm uploading three different images of my model, all elevations in this particular view. So let's click generate again and see what happens with those standard prompts. And basically, let's just see how these generate. So here we are, we're just waiting a bit. I've speeded up the video while it generates. Obviously you don't have to wait too long. And here we go, we're now getting the style that I chose before, but with my building uh, in that kind of particular style. So you can definitely see some elements of AI coming through from my existing project, but that new style um, is basically being transferred across those images as well. Okay, so now let's have a look at how Prome AR deals with an interior. I like this uh, create model with a forest theme. So I'm um, using this ready-made theme as the theme for my particular image. So I've loaded in my image, I've used this forest theme, and this is what it has created. Now some pretty funky ideas here, but it's definitely created a forest theme of my project. I can tell it's my project. There's enough similarity and consistency uh, to create some really interesting ideas 
And basically, this is the benefit of using this new model approach with the consistent model in Pro My Eye. It really retains a lot of consistent images that you create, and it means that you can actually impose a different stylistic trait on those projects. So very, very exciting. Let's just try this again with a different style. So we'll choose a slightly different image. And this time I'm just gonna generate using a slightly different style as a starting point and see what comes out. So I really also like the way uh, Promei progresses and we can see these history of images in our generation and history. So you can have a look at some of the cool things that I've been creating. So look, using a totally different style now, we've got a completely different style of image. But you can definitely tell uh, is my project using those stylistic traits. So when you're ready, you can download these images or you can send them to the other modules within Prome AI, things like outpainting, image to video or sketch. So there's a whole host of additional things I could then do to change the image a bit further. So let's have a look at a couple of other examples um, using a slightly different sort of technique. This time I'm going to select an image and basically just load this in. And I think you'll agree, you know, these are actually pretty interesting images. It definitely looks like my project. And these might give me some ideas for how to develop these interiors. So here's a couple of other stylistic, more sketch-like uh, images I created during the course of the tutorial. You know, watercolours and sort of sketchy artistic visuals, definitely something that Prome is very, very good at creating quite rapidly. So this has been quite fun to do. Now, I'm going to move on to a second project. Uh, this was for an eco home I designed a few years ago. Keen to see how it deals with this kind of more traditional architecture. So just taking a screenshot from Vectorworks and we're going to load this in as our starting point. So, you know, you can do this from your CAD or BIM software or even lay sketch up, just create some starting point images. So I've just created a really simple prompt. Um, basically, I'm just gonna load in some of those uh, sort of auto-generated styles, if you like. Just gonna sort of choose through some, from some of the selection. I'm gonna go for an artistic one and basically choose the scene. It's a building, so let's choose that external building. And let's go for mode. And I think I'll probably go for structured mode. Uh, basically, you can slide the artistry up and down as well. So this is the amount of artistry that uh, Prome AI will use. And let's just go for it. We'll choose one more final choice on the lighting. And we'll go for a nice sort of um, different style of lighting using that radiant glow. Good. So let's click update. See how Prome uh, generates this image using my image as the starting point, but actually with all of these stylistic traits that I've selected. So these are looking quite interesting. These are sort of very sort of painterly versions of my project. Um, it's definitely changed things like the landscape and things, but I do like the style that it's created. Okay, so the final thing I really want to show you is this amazing architectural model style. I really caught my eye because I, you know, I used to love making physical models like this years ago, but these are very, very time consuming to do. So I thought it'd be really great to show you how you can use Prome AI, loading in one of your images and choosing a ready-made model that someone else has trained to generate a sort of balsa wood model of your project. I'm super impressed by some of the images that I'm seeing in this particular section. And look at that, that looks amazing. It's my project with a little bit of a difference. Um, a couple of other examples there as well. So let's just basically run this again. I'm basically going to load in a slightly different image now. Let's load in um, another one from my assets. This view here would be rather nice, this isometric type view. And basically, let's go for it and see if we can kind of like train this up. So let's load in the image again, slightly different view again. And I really like the way you can load in two or three images at the same time and generate lots of outputs using this consistent approach. So maximize full screen, and let's generate using our three images from our CAD software, using this architectural sort of model style that we've created. And wow, look at these. I can download these, and let's look at these in high resolution in a second. But I'm really impressed with the quality of the image that I'm seeing. It does look like a physical model. If I do want to, I can also choose to regenerate in different proportions, which is very, very straightforward to do using Prome. So I really do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. It's been great fun to make indeed. And here is some of the final output that I produced in this short tutorial for you using this new uh, Balsa model, if you like, AI model training. Looks amazing. 
oh yes it's changed my project ever so slightly but it really does look fantastic and the quality of the balsa model views is amazing so thanks for watching everybody i really hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget if you would like to try prome please make sure you use my affiliate link in the description i look forward to seeing you next time take care bye bye